Are you looking for a new chair for your home office and you're thinking about getting a gaming chair over a standard office chair? Stick around, in this video, I'm gonna compare standard office chairs with gaming chairs so that you can easily decide which one is best for you. Hey guys, it's Ryan with BTAD TV. Gaming chairs are still growing rapidly in popularity and because of this, there are a ton of brands out there selling various different styles of gaming chairs. The most popular style by far remains to be the racing style gaming chair like you can see to my right. In this video, we are gonna focus specifically on the racing style gaming chair and how they compare to standard office chairs so that you can know the difference and decide which is the best fit for you. So the first category that we're going to take a look at is going to be pricing of gaming chairs versus office chairs. Now, when we look at the way that these chairs are designed, office chairs are typically designed more so with the functionality of the chair in mind, providing good support, lasting a long time, having good adjustability, and then aesthetics are kind of an afterthought. The chair is meant to look good, they want it to design it to be attractive, but the function is going to be more important. The flip is going to be true for gaming chairs where a lot of the focus is put on the way that the chair looks with different colors, stitching, logos, pillows, things that make the chair look fancy and make it look custom for different setups that people are trying to make for their home office. Now it's important to understand that when looking at all these chairs, all these options are $400 or less. But for $400 you're going to be getting a higher end gaming chair in the spectrum of gaming chairs. But when we look at an office chair, for $400, that's probably going to be considered more of a mid-market mid option. But even a $400 mid-market office chair is going to have more functionality, typically a better warranty and better adjustments than a high-end gaming chair. So you're definitely going to be sacrificing some value in some key areas to go with an equally priced gaming chair. Now we'll get into those specifics more here in the video with things like adjustments and the look of the chair, but this is a good concept just to consider that you will be sacrificing some type of functionality to get the looks and the aesthetics of a gaming chair if you're gonna be paying equal money. The next category that we're gonna take a look at is going to be the bucket seat on racing style gaming chairs against standard seats on office chairs. Now, the biggest difference here is going to be the way that these seats make you feel when you're sitting in the chair. A bucket seat is designed like a car seat. It makes you feel like you are sitting in the chair. The chair is holding you, it's kind of surrounding you and hugging you as compared to an office chair, which is gonna give you a little bit more freedom, more freedom of movement. It's not gonna hold you in one place. So depending on how you like to sit and how you like your chair to feel is going to dictate which style is best for you. Now there are going to be a couple downsides with the racing seat design, especially with the side bolsters because they do not allow a lot of freedom of movement. If you like to cross your legs that can be a problem. If you're a little bit too wide for the chair that can be a problem because they're uncomfortable against your hips. So. They're definitely designed for slimmer, smaller build types as compared to an office chair, which is gonna allow for a much wider range of people to use the seat comfortably. The look of a gaming chair is probably one of the biggest reasons why you would choose to go the gaming chair route over a standard office chair. Now, the biggest differences obviously are gonna come with the different color combinations, multiple colors on one chair. You can get colors that we typically don't see on standard office chairs. They also have cool stitching with op opposing colors to really customize your chair to fit whatever setup you're trying to create at your home office. Now it's important to consider that all of these factors will have an effect on the price that you're paying. So as we talked about earlier, if you choose to go the route of getting some fancy stitching, multiple colors, a logo designed in the headrest, then you are going to be paying for that and you're gonna be getting a little bit less functionality if you're paying the same price for an office chair because you're not getting those things on an office chair and that money has been put into the functionality of the chair. The trade-off is that you can't get these things on a standard office chair. So. If you really want to support your favorite team or you want to have a super custom chair that fits only your setup, then the gaming chair route is probably going to be a good option for you. The backrest recline is going to be another area where gaming chairs typically differ a lot more from standard office chairs. So I've got the IOO chair here to my left and I specifically chose the IOO because this chair has one of the largest recline ranges out of all of the standard office chairs that we've tested. I have it maxed out at recline and you can see that it doesn't even come close to reclining as much as the D GT Racing racing style gaming chair here. Now, most racing style gaming chairs are capable of doing this. You can recline all the way back, basically parallel with the ground. 
This isn't going to be a function that we see on office chairs because it's not very practical because there's not gonna be a lot of time where you're gonna be relaxing that much or laying down that much in an office setting where that function would be needed. So the money from that function is put into other areas. For a gaming chair, this might be useful for those of you that really like to kick back, lay all the way down, watch a movie, watch a stream, whatever you like to do in your home setup, this is definitely a function that a lot of people do like in gaming chairs that you're not going to find in a standard office chair. The next big differentiator between gaming chairs and office chairs is going to be the warranty coverage that you receive on these two different styles of seating. When we look at gaming chairs, almost all of the brands will have two to three year coverage periods. This is gonna be true for the Secret Lab chair that we have here. It has a three year warranty, covers the entirety of the chair. When we compare that warranty to equally priced chairs in the office chair seating sector from Eurotech, these chairs are also priced just under $400, you will receive a limited lifetime warranty with five years of coverage on the foam and fabric with these models. So that you can see Paying equal money, you're gonna get a lot more coverage with a standard office chair, which is gonna guarantee a longer lifespan on your chair, and it's gonna bring that per year cost down for your overall investment. The next category that we're gonna take a look at is going to be how the adjustability of a gaming chair compares to the adjustability of a standard office chair. So again, we've got similarly priced chairs here. The biggest difference that we're gonna see right out of the chute is going to be the mechanism chosen by most gaming chairs. Most gaming chairs go with a swivel tilt or some higher end models like the Secret Lab will go with a knee tilt mechanism. Now these are going to be lower end mechanisms in the grand scheme of how chairs recline. They're not going to provide the most ergonomic position like we see with the synchro tilt mechanism on the Vera or a weight sensitive mechanism on the Elevate chair here. So for equally priced chairs, you're going to be able to get better mechanisms, better recline motions, and a little bit more ergonomics while you're free flowing in the chair on a standard office chair for the same price. This is also going to apply when we look at other adjustments on the chair. So the GT racing chair here, just height adjustable arms. The secret lab chair here has two or three way arms depending on which model that you go with. If we compare that to like the Vera here, it does have four way adjustable arms with larger ranges. So again, a little bit more functionality out of the standard office chair. And a standard office chair is also going to give you functions that you're simply not going to be able to find on gaming chairs, things like forward seat tilt, sliding seat mechanisms, independent backrest angle adjustment are all going to be things that you're gonna find on standard office chairs, ranging from every price imaginable, and you're not gonna be able to find those types of things on most gaming chairs. The lumbar support on a standard office chair compared to that on a gaming chair is gonna be another area where we see quite a big difference. Almost all racing style gaming chairs have adopted this system to just go with a completely flat backrest with some type of pillow support option. Sometimes it's on straps like the GT racing chair here. Sometimes it does not have straps and it's just free to go wherever you'd like to place it like the Secret Lab chair here. Now, in my opinion, these are not very good lumbar support systems. The pillows compress very easily. The strap systems usually do not keep them in place. And overall, they do not provide a ton of support and it's definitely gonna be one of the biggest downsides with gaming chairs, especially when we look at standard office chairs and what you can get in a standard office chair. So if we look at the Vera again, the same chair we've been comparing the Secret Lab to for most of this video, it doesn't have any type of adjustable lumbar support. You can't adjust the height or the depth, but it has much better support than the Secret Lab chair, testing as one of the most comfortable backs from everyone in our office, and that's because it just has a really nicely designed curve and really good quality mesh to support you and hold you in place and give you that support that you need. If you like to have some type of adjustment, maybe you like the idea of being able to move the pillow up and down, but you want something a little bit more high quality, you can certainly find that in any type of office chair from any price range. If you want height adjustment, depth adjustment, the Leap is a good example of a height adjustable and a depth adjustable lumbar support system. So standard office chairs are just gonna provide a lot better range of options to choose from and better support when you do end up choosing an option. Gaming chairs have been out for quite a while now, but they continue to gain in popularity. Opponents of gaming chairs will typically cite them as being not as functional. You're paying for weird stitching and weird logos that could go into other areas, not as good warranties, all of the same things that we've heard. These opponents are typically right, but the simple fact of the matter is, is that gaming chairs do offer things that standard office chairs cannot offer. And that is the look and the way that they make you feel when you get that chair in your specific setup when you're playing your game. You can't get multi-tone colors with custom logos and all the fancy things that you can get on a gaming chair 
with a standard office chair. There are a lot of things that we buy in life for the looks over functionality. Chairs can be in that category as well. If you love the way that the gaming chair looks and you don't care so much about having four-way adjustable arms or a fancy lumbar support, then gaming chairs can be a nice option for you. But if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, then I would recommend going with the standard office chair route. And that's gonna conclude our gaming chairs versus office chairs comparison. If you found an office chair or a gaming chair that you've really fallen in love with, let us know in the comments and let us know why you like it so much. It might be helpful for other people watching this video to narrow down their search for their next chair. I would really appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, ding that bell, subscribe to the channel, Follow us on social media so that you know when we're uploading our next video and you can keep up to date with all of our future content. Thanks a lot for watching.